at the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. This is Zach, he's our social media photographer, yeah, videographer, he kind of only does everything. And uh, we're doing like video promo stuff for the Jumbotron for our home opener tomorrow. Or, sorry, Saturday. I had all of it. Oh. 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 So a little bit of uh, media day today. A little bit of photos and stuff. I got some Seawolf stuff. This is actually really nice. Kind of like Lululemon, but it's not Lululemon. Um, although I did get more Seawolf stuff, I think, today than stuff I got the entire time I was in Watertown. So it's nice to be stocked up. Also, here's Shep. What's going on? Texas boy. Cattle rancher. He's a cowboy. It is a... Mississippi Sea Wolves game day. We are heading to Columbus, Columbus, Georgia. There's Anthony, our equipment guy. We want to play the River Dragons. And uh, we got about a four or five hour bus ride ahead. Also, can you spot which one's my bag? It's uh, the one that's not red and blue. It's the Motor City bag. Here at Chipotle, also known as Chipper, the official meal of the uh, Fedzino. It's a trick of the pros. Only the vets in the league get this one. You get a water cup, fill it up with Coke Zero, save a couple bucks in the team budget, and the money that you save, you get queso or guac on your burrito bowl like I did. So, you get Coke Zero, guac, queso, yeah. And the best looking man in the league right here, the Greek freak. Got the Columbus. Check this out. Fed Zeno perks. All you can drink. Aquafina and Gatorade. Not bad. Uh, for Dragons. Thank you very much. So you may recognize this arena, and this is the first ever Fed experience I had here in Columbus, Georgia, about four years ago. And I'll throw some clips on the screen. Um, coming to camp for the inaugural season with the Columbus River Dragons was really eye-opening experience for me, and kind of introducing me and getting my foot in the door in the Fed. Um, so although it was many years ago, and I know I like to kind of take some shots at some teams every now and then. Um, I did want to say thank you so much to the uh, Columbus River Dragons for the experience. Although it was many years ago, they did send me on a pathway to go to Sweden. I spent two years, one side in the Gothenburg area and then one side in the Stockholm area. They sent me into Motor City, uh, through the expansion draft in Withville, to Watertown for the previous two months. Obviously 45 minutes in Port Huron earlier this month and uh, now for the Sea Wolves. So uh, to Jerome, the Croups and everybody in Columbus, I just wanted to say thank you very much for the experience. Thank you for allowing me to get my foot in the door. And uh, although I do not wish you the best of luck tonight, I just wanted to say thank you and uh, go Sea Wolves. That's it. Is it working right now? It's going right now. Worcester, Hey, what's up, yo? This is Anthony, head locker room attendant. Yeah. Hometown Worcester representing. Yeah. Worcester what, rats? No, Worcester Ice Cats. Worcester Ice Cats.
Three River Dragons. Puck bouncing right in front of the net. Pushed ahead. And now it's center. Here's McDonald to the empty net. He scores. Gonna do it. River Dragons put it in the books. The home opener goes in the win column. Five three. I have no idea if you guys. No, no, no. You better make sure of it. I'm telling you. I'll yeah. take your garlic bread right away. Soul fast right now. <laughs> You're so sassy for such a small little girl. This may quite possibly be the most fed story ever. Uh, I got called in to go get the uh, post-game meal, walk in the room, get the food, build up a nice little plate, as you saw on the screen. And then they came in and said, hey, you to put all the food back. We're actually not feeding you guys tonight. Better put all the food back. It's the most fed thing I think I've heard in a long time. <laughs> so. Going home, home. Now word from today's video sponsor, Manscaped.com. The new Manscaped Beard Hedger is a premium beard sculpting machine with enough power and precision to craft your style in a single swipe. The kit comes with a styling cream, beard conditioner and shampoo, a little scrubby here for getting all the junk out of your beard, and the main attraction, the Hedger itself. It's got 20 different lengths that are controlled by this little zoom wheel that you click back and forth, as you see here. It also carries a 60 minute battery life on a single charge, all encased in its waterproof design. And you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code TRAVSUCKS at manscaped.com that is 20 percent off and free shipping at manscaped.com when you use the code travsocks at checkout it is time to feel sexy and free this 2023 okay so this is darren and i don't know if i'll pick up on the broadcast but uh, after the anthems it got really quiet in the arena and darren yelled travis you suck and he told me when i came walking out of the arena that he's going to unsubscribe if i didn't come say hi so i came to say hi he came to say hi so now i have to continue to subscribe and stay and listen so now i'm camera shy I don't know what else to do. That's good. That's perfect. Hold yeah. well on. Just so y'all can't snag it on me. What's your name? Where are you from? How uh, many, do you have any sisters? Uh, no, I got one. She's right here. My name's Justin Bryan. I'm from Columbus, Georgia. Uh, I'm married. I'm married to her. Her name oh, is Lady Bryan. We got a newborn. Congratulations, my friend. Thank How's you. it feel to be a dad? Uh, it feels amazing. That's awesome, man. I've been following you since like you started rocking. My name is Mackie Donner. I have three sisters. Can I shout someone out? Sure. Uh, shout out Ian Robinson. Love you, man. Uh, sheath underwear, 20% yep. off with trap socks. Greatest pair of underwear in the game. Yes, they make, they make women's underwear too. Why is the question, do you have any sisters? This is Steve. Steve is literally the original jersey owner myself. He bought my jersey here in Columbus in 2019. He had no idea who I was. I was just some <laughs> schmuck back in Winnipeg. Now he has the original jersey, and although he didn't bring it to the game, I will see him soon, and we can do like a comparison of how it started versus how it's going, and or wash the shit right out of your shirt, and then it turns into like a Mississippi <laughs> Seawolves jersey. So, my friend, thank you very much. Not a problem. I'll see you in three weeks. Yeah. I'm like 4,000 away from 100,000 plus. See you later, guys. I will say, uh, it has been like four years since I was in Columbus and it was training camp, but uh, it changed a lot. Oh, right. it, uh, it's about 5 in the morning, 4.45. I'm fried. <laughs> like, tired. So this is it. Home opening day for the uh, Mississippi Seawolves. Obviously all the uh, southern teams play like road games for the first month while they get the, uh, the arena open, but this is it. This is the home.